Hello everyone, this is Mr. Kotor X. I'm going to be reading. There is not a soul who does not know of Marth, hero, king, and savior. But there are few who know that person. Marth fought valiantly in battle. With many renowned heroes by his side. As well as that person. That person sounds awesome. That person was Marth's confidant and friend. A shadow who aided Marth's victories. History books hold no record of this hero of shadow. Other protagonists of the War of Heroes. <clears throat> Their name was... Apparently it was... <laughs> Anyways, this is the game I'll be playing. Fire Emblem, Heroes of Light and Shadow. Um, I think this has officially been ported to um, America. I'm not sure if it hasn't. Oh, well. Uh, I'm playing a unofficial patch version. Well, an official patch version, I guess. Uh, but it is a patch version. It came out a long time ago. Um, I do love this version of it. And... Um, You'll now get to see some of the classes. I don't know if I'll be getting into the actual game of this. Uh, you have your archer, which only females can be archer in this game. And this is, well, I'm saying there can be male archers otherwise, but, like, the female avatar is only an archer. Uh, this is a sniper. It's what the um, archer will get into. And uh, if I sound a bit shaky, it's just because I'm cold. Uh, here's your hunter. Hunter's are basically like archers almost it uh, it's another class up version basically uh, you have your horsemen which I have no clue what a horseman is I'm guessing it's like a cavalier uh, your bishops they are healers and I think can even cast white magic yeah they can yeah see tomes and staves alike so, they can wield white magic. Uh, your thieves, which are awesome characters, by the way. They are probably one of the best characters in the game. Um, <laughs> I say that and then look at their stats, but no, they are very good. Do not... Do not diss them. These characters are really awesome. I love them. They're able to turn into freaking dragons. Then you got your freelancers. Um, yeah. Dancers are absolutely essential. They basically give up their turn, I think it is. Yeah. Huh, that's new. Lords are basically like what Ike, uh, Ike or, um, in this game, Marth. Uh, they're the only ones who can capture um, strongholds. So, in uh, this game, I'm just going to go ahead and touch. Uh, as you can see, this is the setup for it. Uh, continue, copy data, suspend data, uh, suspended point, erase data, and new game. We're going to go into new game. Now, there's, fi uh, there's four different levels of how hard this game's going to be. Normal, hard, um, manic, and, uh, <laughs> lunar tannic? Lutanic? Um, I guess, I don't know. But normal is basically, you know, you can, it's really, really easy. Hard is, um, for basically people who know the game. Uh, manic is basically for those hardcore players. I've never played any of my Fire Emblem games on manic. And I've definitely never done this. Well, actually, no, I take that back. I have played one on Manic. But I've never done this one. The highest level of difficulty in the series can provide the enemies are the strongest. I'm not going to be playing this. I will be playing on Hard Mode. So let's hope I do okay. But yes, I will be playing on Hard Mode because it's I am actually kind of a Fire Emblem veteran. Um, I will be playing on Classic Mode. Classic Mode... Well, hold on, let me show you. 
Casual mode, if your enemies fall, I mean, if your friends fall, or your units fall, they will come back the next chapter. But in classic mode, death is permanent, and this is the way that I'm used to playing the game. Used to playing, like, if anyone dies, that's it. They're gone. So that's how I'm going to be playing, because I think it adds a little bit more variety. I'm going to try and go for no one dying. But if they die, that's it. I can't help it. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be playing on Classic Mode. So, let me just click this. Now, here's an interesting thing about this game. You actually get to choose your character, your avatar. Um, this isn't the actual name, actually. It's, um... Well, it technically is, technically isn't. It's actually supposed to be spelled K-H something like that. But we're going to go with Chris. It's the default name. So, we're done. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, we are, uh, Okay, so, I'm going to show you this. There are, I think, I forget how many classes, but I'll show you. Um, I'm, I'm going to go back. But here you have your mercenary. They're basically your... Um, they're pretty good. They're all your all-arounders. you got your knights, which are your heavily armed characters, you your basic defense. You can I've never had a knight fall in battle. Almost never. Um, I've had these guys fall a lot. Cavaliers, they're basically your movement characters. If you want to get somewhere quick, you use these guys. Um, these guys are your basic, like, just your huge DPS characters that go in there, do a lot of damage, and uh, you just pray that they survive. Uh, your archers. Archers are really good. You put them behind a knight or a general, and general's the upgrade to a knight. You put them behind those, and nothing can stop them, except for maybe another archer or a spellcaster. Uh, and you've got your mage, which, as I said, you put these guys behind knights as well, and nothing's touching them except for an archer or a mage. Um, and yeah, and then we get back to this. Back. Uh, and I'm just doing... We, we are going to play as a male character, but I want to show you guys the female choices. Because you don't get the same choices if you choose a female. Uh, a Marmadon, which I'm so sad that I can't choose this, because this is actually my favorite class, is uh, basically your crit person. They are amazing when it comes to critical chance. Uh, your Pegasus Knights, which is actually one of my other favorite classes. I love these guys. They're resistant to magic, Weak to bows, but can fly over walls and everything. So you can position them in crazy places. Uh, you got your cavaliers, which are your movement people. Your archers, which I've already explained. And your mages. So, what we're going to be doing is going to play as male. I thought long and hard about what class I wanted to be. I'm going to be a class that I am usually am when I play MMOs. That being said, I'm going to be as a knight. Why? Because when I play MMOs, I normally play as a tank. That being said, I'm going to choose him because um, I'm basically going to be like the shield wall, and then I'm going to have other people right behind me just coming in and taking out other uh, characters. Not being said that I won't be taking out characters. I normally, I prefer using a sword, and I think there is a Fire Emblem where generals can use swords. I don't remember which one it is, so if you guys know, you can leave a comment down below. But there is a Fire Emblem game where generals can use swords. This one, however, they cannot. They Generals can use um, I'm trying to think. Spears and I think bows. I won't be having my guy use a bow. He's going to be using spears only. If he does, I think also maybe axes, but I'm not sure on that one. But if he can use an axe, good. I will have him using an axe. So we're going to be a knight. And I guarantee there's someone in the comments like, no, you shouldn't be a knight. Um, knights are very slow. That is one thing you have to know about them. They are very slow. Now, this is where we get to customize our character. Um... There's a lot of hairstyles. This is the one I usually choose if I'm like going to be a, um, a mercenary. And on my uh, practice playthrough, that's actually what I chose. 
Um, but for this one, I'm actually going to choose uh, this one. I kind of like it. It looks cool. I'm going to get Hold on. It actually looks female. I honestly, for this Let's Play, I w uh, thought about doing this. Just having an afro guy. Uh, no, no, no. I know exactly what I'm going to choose. Let me see where it is. This, right here. I'm going to choose this. The slicked back hair. Um, and because we are the hero of shadows, we can't have um, standoutish hair, so no weird colors. I'm going to get brown. Is that brown? That looks brownish. Um, I've not seen any good eyes, so we're just going to leave them there. So, we're done with that. Now, now she's going to predict our past, present, and future, or something like that. Beginning with your past, um, what kind of circumstance were you born in? Now, these choices don't seem like they have anything to do with anything, but they do. They are very, very important. These choices right here are very important. The Merchant Child, these give you stat bonuses and growth bonuses. In other words, when you level up, or like at those beginning, you get certain things. The Merchant Child gives you a luck and resistance bonus with a luck growth. The priest child, or clergy child in the Japanese version, is a defense bonus, however, it doesn't give you a growth bonus. The orphan gives you a strength and magic bonus with the same type of growth bonus. The farmer's child gives you a health bonus with the same kind of growth bonus, it basically health. And the noble's child gives you skill and speed with skill and speed growth bonus. For this, I'm going to be choosing Farmer's Child. Because that way I'll have a lot more HP. Because you start off, I think, baseline 20, and now I'll have 24. That's huge. And then every time I level up, I'll get a 10% growth bonus. Uh, uh, 10% HP bonus. Now, for present, you have beauty, wisdom, diversity, and kindness. Here's the thing about that, though. There should be another one which is strong. Because I chose Farmer's Child, we don't get that. Because we can't have another HP bonus. That's fine. Now, for this one, I actually want to choose... Hold on, I'm looking. Um... Okay, so, for beauty, it's skill and speed, with uh, growth bonus of those. Wisdom gives you luck and resistance. Diversity gives you strength and magic, and kindness gives you, um, what is it? Kindness gives you defense. Normally, I would take the kindness here because of the defense bonus. I am not. As a knight, my defense is already super high but I want it to grow higher. That's why I took what I took earlier. So what I'm going to choose here, actually, is I'm going to choose beauty. I have a reason. Give me a minute. My reason for choosing beauty is because it gives me a skill, which is basically my ability to hit and do critical damage, and my speed, which as a knight, my speed is going to suck. So I'm going to need that. Okay, now as you can see, there are only three, but there's actually supposed to be five. These three right here choose, uh, basically every time you choose something, it diminishes down the next one. So they're supposed to be humane or humanitarian in if it's full out. Honorable, which we do not have because we chose beauty, which would be your skill and speed. Um, truth seeker, which we don't have because we chose uh, farmer back in the uh, back way back. Um, then you've got rich, which, is that right? Yeah, rich, which we don't have. I don't know why we don't have it, but we should. And, um, Reckless, which is right here. Um, anyways, human, uh, Humane gives you no starting bonus, 
but a, t a defense bonus of growth for 10%. Um, honorable, which is not on here, uh, gives you skill and speed. Um, truth Seeker gives you HP. Rich or worth uh, wealthy gives you um, luck and resistance. And Recluse gives you strength and magic. Oh, that's, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Rich is wealthy. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry, people. Durr. Um, anyways, what I will be choosing is humane or humanitarian. The reason why is because I get a defense bonus from it. And that will be huge with my guy. Because a 10% defense bonus. The other defense bonuses I could have gotten if I'd chosen the other ones was a 5. And I think... Um, yeah, both of them were fives. So this one is huge. Yeah, so with everything complete, we choose that. So um, as you can see, I, I have played before, but I deleted all my data. So yeah. Meeting. It's like, get out of my way! Uh, well, if you were in a hurry, you shouldn't have bumped into us. Yes, we are. Huh. Neat. So, remember that. We're from Sarah Village. We're Chris. Really? Does Chris sound dignified? Huh, cool. Anyways, this is, I think, K uh, Catherine? Katrin? Katerin? I can never pronounce that name. So she's gonna, I'm just gonna call her Cat. Yeah. So, Cat here is basically here for the same reason we are. She wants to be a knight like us. Sort of. This here is Luke. Uh, he is actually, I believe, a cavalier. So, yeah. There's your thing. Oh, also, something I should have told you. If you're playing, if you are playing long and you make a character... Uh, if you're, depending on whether you're male or female, if you choose a cavalier, males tend to go towards lances and females towards swords. Because they start you out with a D sword and an E lance. And vice versa for the males. The females get a D sword, the uh, males get a lance E. Males get la sword E and lance D. Now if you don't know what those means, uh, there's a ranking system that goes from E to A with your E to S, sorry, E to S on your weapons. E being the lowest, and then as you rank them up, going from E, D, C, B, A, S. So, w once you get like an S ranked um, weapon, <laughs> you use it as little as possible. on bosses and nothing more. Um, yeah. But, um, as a knight, we start off with Lance D. I'm sure there's a dick joke somewhere there, but <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. Um, Um, also, there's an ability to change your hairstyle in the game, I think. Yeah, there is. Um, I don't like how it looks for the male. I don't I don't like how it looks for the female either, but um, actually the male one's not too bad. So I might eventually end up changing how it looks um, for me. Anyways, uh, we're about to get into our very first training exercise, which is right here. Now, 
as you can see, our strength is eight, our magic is zero, our skill is six, our speed is two, which it would have been a one if I hadn't chose what I chose. Our luck is three, our defense is 11. That is freaking high. And our resistance is zero. Had I not chose the HP bonus that I did, this would be 20. Uh, the HP up here would have been 20. So, what we can do now is, as you can see, uh, you've got all this stuff up here. you got level, attack, crit, um, hit, um, avoid, and range. Uh, by the way, the three is chance. It's not like you get a three crit. It's your crit chance, and avoid chance is three. That will change dramatically. So for right now, we're going to move here. And we wait. Now, watch this. As you can see, he did almost nothing to us. Alright, so to in order to activate, we at, uh, click on our character, or you can push the A button, I think, and just click on him, and then you can, uh, once you see this, as you can see, he's going to do one damage to us. This right here is your um, everything. This tells you all that you need to know. He, We have 23 HP, he has 7. Um, we have 12 might, which is how much we're going to be hitting for. And he's got one. This num the might number will change depending on what you're attacking. Uh, we have a 95% chance to hit. He has a 93. However, we are going to be hitting first, so that 93 is going to be negligent. Uh, it's going to basically not even go through. And we have a three crit. In other words, we have a 3% chance of critting, I think. If he was using, I think it's axe. I, I don't remember which one it is. But if he was using the weapon that does not go along with ours... The lances, the, our weapon would actually be blinking, which means that we're doing better than they are. So, I'll show you. And see, we didn't take that one hit of damage. Uh, killing an enemy gives you more experience than just attacking it. Attacking one does give you a bit of experience. By the way, I'm going to be using this because if I don't, it'll tell me to use one. So then we go up to him. As you can see, uh, he gets two attacks on us. See that little X2 right there? It means that we get two. He gets two attacks. There is a chance that we could get two attacks um, if we're fast enough. But because he's on a horse, he's immensely faster than we are. Um, also, if you notice the 38 and 30 next to um, the numbers, that means we have 38 attacks with the Iron Lance, and he only has 30. In other words, after those 38 or 30 attacks, that weapon is gone. We will never see it again. Uh, we can buy other versions of this weapon, like another Iron Lance or another Javelin or whatever. But if we use up this one all the way down, that's it. And another weapon will be equipped into its place. So, let's go ahead. It's going to take a lot to whittle this guy down. But he can barely hurt us. So we can just sit here all we want, and he can hurt. He can hurt. So, so now he's going to attack us. Oh yeah, if you get two attacks, um, if it's on your turn, it'll be you attack, then they attack, then you attack. If let's say where I attacked him earlier, you saw he got two attacks immediately. Uh, that's because I had already done my attack. Then he gets two, his two. There are other ways. There are like quick weapons, which give you, like, I've seen it up to four, and um, basically you get attack, attack, then they get an attack, then attack, attack for you. And we reach level two. Now, here's where my growth bonus is coming. As you can see, I only got a HP and a speed. Speed is essential for my character. I need more of this. Defense, not so much, but that will grow. That will definitely grow. Also, these are based on luck. There is no, um, there's no way of telling what you're going to get. It could be random each time. 
But, yep, that's the first map clear. Well, thank you. Yay, we win. Ah, <laughs> eh, you were fine. Yay, Prince Marth is going to address us. Does he? Huh. Uh, the last war, I think, was called the War of Shadows. See, there it is, the um, Shadow Dragon in the Dark, uh, Panth uh, Panthavix. Um, basically, the last one was called the War of Shadows. Uh, this is called the War of Heroes. Yeah. Marth is actually a very nice person, believe it or not. It's true, you can't. It's the duty of your soldiers to risk their lives. Yeah, it was. Wow, you must really love Prince. Um, uh, you must really love Mark. Well, that's the end of the uh, first prologue. Th this entire thing is basically one big prologue. Um, I'm going to try, I, not every episode will just be one battle, but sometimes battles go on forever. I'm not kidding. There are some battles that go on for quite a long time. If they do, I'll try and split them up, um, but mostly it's going to be like how I did with Phoenix Wright. Um, I'm going to try and keep it down to about 30 minute episodes if I can, um, so, and with this game, I can cut it a lot easier. Um, so there won't be as many problems, uh, uh, there won't be as many issues with how there were with Phoenix Wright, because Phoenix Wright is more story-driven. This one, if I need to, I can stop mid-battle and just continue on later. That being said, if um, you guys liked what you saw, uh, leave a comment, leave a like, so that, I can, uh, so that you guys can see more. Co uh, subscribe so that, you know, you'll get the chance to see more. And I think that's going to be pretty much it for the first episode of Fire Emblem, Heroes of Light and Shadow. So this has been Mr. Kotorex. I remember, folks, there's no point being an adult if you can't act childish from time to time. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.